Yeah. Tarek Kent is a 31-year-old personal trainer from Kansas. He is a former professional football player, and he has been married for over two years. He was asked over 50 questions by our polygraph examiner. 21 of those questions have been chosen for tonight. Ty Keck, this is your moment of truth. And how you feeling? A little nervous, but you know, I'm ready to win some money. Let's take a moment to see who's come here tonight to hear you tell the truth. He's got that Johnny Bravo head. Mm. Remember Johnny Bravo? Mm. Yeah. Johnny Bravo might have been the coolest <clears throat> cartoon character who never got laid. And you know what? It makes me kind of sad. Because there's a couple episodes where I'm like, this man deserved it. But the show writers were always writing in a way that this never got, he never got laid. Johnny Bravo deserves some pussy. Some cartoon pussy? Yes. I'm Katja Ty's wife. I'm April Ty's friend. I'm Martez Ty's friend. Question five. Do you think you're the best looking of all your friends? The question could have been phrased as, do you have a big fucking ego? Ready to admit it to America for $2,000? Oh. Yes. <laughs> that answer is true. $10,000. You really think you're better looking than Martez? I mean, he's got a great smile. <laughs> Consolation I, prize. Yeah, right? what's that? <laughs> All right, here we go. Question six. As a football player, did you ever sneak a peek at another player's privates while taking a shower? See, this sounds so taboo, but if we're being honest, if you've ever been in a male locker room, every motherfucker has looked at somebody else's dick at one point or another. Especially if you go to a gym with old people. Yeah. I don't know what it is about you old motherfuckers. You just, it's not a peak. Y'all motherfucker want to expose that shit. Hey, what's up, Jerry? You good? Hey, what did you do in the weekend? I know, and I'm sitting there trying to go to my fucking locker. These motherfuckers, hey. My only issue is when I'm sitting at my locker and I'm trying to open it, and this man's like, Good day, young man. <laughs> trying to have a whole ass conversation. And then it's like, whoa, Jesus Christ. I was yeah. trying to get and my you know what? bag over there. From my experience, it's mostly old white dudes. Yeah. 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 Why people even have to hold L in this one? <sighs> yep, 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 yep. <laughs> hey, buddy, how you doing? Like, what the fuck are you doing, Yo. bro? Yeah. Hey, Jerry. <laughs> I seen you out there. Yeah. Okay. G get dressed. Listen, I don't know what ladies' washrooms are like, but men's washrooms are not private. They're anything but private. Jesus. You see a lot of private parts, but I would not consider them private. I have never... And listen, if it's... you're going to look at another man's dick, it's not gay. As long as you say pause afterwards, it's fine. Okay? <laughs> Me, personally, when I leave a shower, but pause. <laughs> Mom, I'm just minding my business. I'm just doing my shit. Mm -hmm. That's it. Motherfuckers be ugh. You it's the who? old muff. It's the old people. It's the old ones. I don't know what it is up with them. Ha! Ah, I don't care, Jerry. Who am I gonna impress? You know what I mean? I do be laughing sometimes because sometimes you see you, you, you see someone drop a soap in the washroom, and even though nothing's gonna happen, there's always a thought in my head of like, damn, that's gay, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> or it's when he bends down to what? He bends down. He bends down. He, well, drops, he drops the soap. It's like, huh, look at that. I got dropped my soap. Listen, Hold on. Listen, let me uh, tell you. There, there's, uh, there's dudes. Uh, <laughs> that soap's slippery. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. There it go again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to go to my locker, sir. Can you just kick it over there? Fuck. There's one time. <laughs> So the way this the way this shower area was set up, it's like it was like a rectangle and there's one entrance right here, okay? There's a rectangle over here, the entrance is there. And then there's a bunch of seats and lockers over here. So I'm sitting there and my homie goes into the washroom first to go to go shower, right? He goes in and he comes right back out and like, what's wrong? I was like, man, never mind. And I was like, what? So I get up to go shower because I'm like, that was weird. And I go in. <laughs> And the way the showers, the showers are all around the square, right? There's a motherfucker right in the middle showering, but he's got the water hitting his back and he's just staring towards the entrance. Just... <laughs> he 
She's just cleaning. Big nigga, right? And I walked in and I went. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What is he doing? She was just. His, the shower was hitting his back, but the way he was staring at the entrance, he was like this cleaning himself. And I don't know what it did. But it <laughs> gave, it gave me, no, it gave me Fleece Johnson vibes. He didn't say nothing, but what I heard when he was just like this, he went, I like you and I want you. And I'm going to have you. So I, I, I pulled the Ned Flanders. Skink, dee, 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 dee. It's not, no, it's Grandpa. No, that's Grandpa. Grandpa, 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 Grandpa. Grandpa. I walked in and out. I said, nigga, I'm going to shower home. Because I'm going to shower home. Nobody getting in my booty at that time. <laughs> Question seven. If Katya developed a flabby stomach, would you encourage her to get life with that? It's like, I'd encourage myself to get life <laughs> You have to imagine he's a personal trainer, so there's yeah. probably extra uh, pressure on her yeah. to maintain beauty standards. Yeah. Probably. Because she's like, she sees who he's training, mm -hmm. and he's at the gym all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Yo, laughing after you say something fucked up doesn't make it okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> True. Katya, anything you want to say? Yeah, no. I thought you'd say no. How well does your wife get along with your friends? It depends on the situation, but <laughs> you think it's pretty good. When these motherfuckers ask these questions, they already know the answers. Of course they do. So the way that they're setting up every question is that <clears throat> they have an angle how they want to make you look if you yeah, answer truthfully. Yeah. So they're like, bitch, you gonna get this money. Yeah. You, but you gonna, gonna get have to paid, work. but you gonna pay. Oh yeah, you gonna oh, have yeah, to Oh yeah, yeah. They'll be like, do you love your wife? They're like, I was like, yeah. It's like, cool. Have there ever been times where you thought about divorcing your wife? Yeah. Like, Nigga, why would you lead with that question? But these pieces of shit producers are just like, Nyak, 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 nyak. How do you feel about interracial marriage? Well, you know, I'm supportive of all races getting married, right? Dude's got a white wife. <laughs> and they're like, great. Have you ever thought about leaving your wife for a black woman? It's like, oh my God, the way they lead into the question. Question eight. Have you ever suspected one of your friends of making a play for Katya? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, he's saying you up. see the way they set up the he's question? Up. <laughs> you know what this is like? This is what, like when you were a teenager and you went out and you, you come back home and your mom like, so, where were you tonight? Knowing damn fucking she well. Knows. She already knows. She, knows. she just wants to see, bitch, you gonna lie to me? So she be like, so where were you tonight? I'm like, uh, oh yeah, just hanging out, Timmy's. Timmy's, huh? Timmy's, huh? Hmm. So why did Sandra's mom say that Sandra saw you at the club tonight? Bro, when you get <laughs> caught by your parents. God damn. At that point, it's they, just like. They doing the most. And guess what? When I get kids and I catch them, yeah. I'm going to do the most. You know what's even worse? When there's an audience. <laughs> yup. Your uncles. Your siblings. <laughs> when your sister's looking at you like, mm, ooh, you ooh, fucked up. Ooh. 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 My little sister was such a piece of shit. Sometimes she'd go get the weapon that my mom was going to use before she even asked. I said, bitch, who asked you? Thing is the editing, yo, because the way they're making the black dude to be out like the one who's trying to fuck the white, yeah, yeah, sus, sus. Does he know? <laughs> Maybe he do. Question nine Have you ever had sexual relations with someone the very same day you met them? <laughs> Yo, that's not a friend, that's a witness. That's not a friend, that's a witness. You, 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 when a girlfriend confronts a boyfriend and the boys who are sitting around are looking like, 
That nigga is guilty. That, if, 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 if a girl calls us like, so, is it true that you fucked Melina before we were dating? And the guy's like, well. Question 11. Since you've been married, have you used the internet to flirt with other women? No. That answer is true. you think you've delayed having children because you're not sure if Katya will be your lifelong partner? I need your answer. The answer is yes. That answer is... I'm dying. True. That's 12... These are the best producers I may have ever seen. Oh, yeah. Show. <clears throat> yeah. The way they set up the previous one to make him look good. Like, have you ever flirted with... Most people were accepting yes. He's like, no, I've never done that. I'm like, oh, he's a good guy. Next one's going to be a bitch, though. <laughs> Yo! Katya, that can't be great to hear. April, what did you say to Katya? I asked her if um, hearing this is worth $100,000. Question 13. As a personal trainer, have you touched a female client more than was required of you? This one could end careers. Oh, careers, relationships. No. That answer is... I noticed about this guy's head he seems like the type of person who would finish killing his whole family and smile like it seems like to mask any emotion that he's feeling mm -hmm. this man just yeah. smiles and yeah. laughs it's weird he just got caught about this he's like there's a weirdness to the face tv what is it tv makes you make weird shit you have to keep your face up so you feel like you have to you know act a certain way in front of TV, not to lose face. I'm laughing about it, and oftentimes laughing about this is this is this is nothing. This is not crushing me, you know. Just to I agree. My thing is when you come to TV, sometimes you look uncomfortable, rather than you look deceptive. He does not look uncomfortable to me. He looks deceptive, mm -hmm. right? Meaning he'll say something that he knows is wrong, and he'll laugh to mask it. To me, this is mm -hmm. not a TV thing. It looks like an everyday life thing. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, my bad. I wouldn't know because I didn't speak to the guy like that, and I yeah. don't know the guy like that, but I see what you're saying. Yeah, the same way, like, when she does this, I don't know that's a TV thing. I think that's No, that's not, that's nervous. Yeah, that's, nervous. that's what I'm saying, right? So I feel she like- did it, She did it a couple she of times. She did it the whole time where he was just laughing and smiling through everything. Yeah, that's what Right, so that's why I'm just like, there's a weirdness to his face, like, like the emotion, doesn't match the moment, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyways, we're, we're just getting too deep into it. But me watching that, I'm just like, bruh, you went on TV, didn't make no money, and may have fucked up your career in and your relationship. Crazy. This show was cold. Cold? Blooded. No, it, yeah. It, it, yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. My sister was watching that show when it was on. on. It's a good show. It didn't last long. It's a good show. It didn't last long. It's a good show. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. We want to hear from you. Oh.